Hello, my name is Faith and I'm a customer care at Free SP Radius. In today's video, I will show you how to enable an expiry page for your PPO users. This video is divided into three parts. Number one, checking and setting up your panel. Two, setting up your microtic. And three, testing the, test, the settings. After we complete the configuration, we are expecting once a customer account expires, they will receive a sign-in page. Once they click on it, they are redirected to the payment portal where they can renew their account. And for this, you don't need a pay bill for automatic renewal. A bank account or till without API keys will automatically renew your customer accounts. Once logged in admin panel, click here in network IP pool and make sure you have an expired IP pool and an active PPPoE pool. If you are an old customer, you'll be having an active pool and you'll now add an expired pool. Please note the name doesn't matter, but the IP range should be between 192.168.178.5-192.168.178.254. Since we already have ours added, we won't add another pool. We will go directly to PPPoE settings for an overview of the page. Click PPPoE settings when the page loads, you will go through the instructions above on different modes we are having. For most customers, you will choose mode B, so that you can have hotspot and PPPoE on the same port. So here, we will select our router, for our case it is final testing 4, and then choose mode B, which is VLAN and a hotspot bridge and you will be done. If you want to separate PPPoE from hotspot, you will choose mode A. So we will go back here to choosing router, router again, choose router 4 and then click load interface so that we can assign the ports with our new PPPoE bridge. Here it is mode A. I will choose port 4 so that it can use the PPPoE settings and then click assign to PPPoE bridge. On step 2, we will use Winbox 4.0 and Microtik 951 version 7. Please note, since Microtik has already has connected customers, the settings we are adding will take effect from the next activation or recharge you will do. On this step, it is simply copying the commands from dashboard to your Microtik. So, we will copy this here in step 1. In Microtik, click New Terminal and paste the command, then click Enter. Then, copy step 2 and open your microtik click new terminal and paste and that is it for this part on the final part for testing our settings we will go to packages and plans then pppoe plans click here on edit so that we can edit the expiry pool under expired pool choose our new expired pool which is on the range 192.168.178.5-192.168.5 .168.178.254 and then save changes. It will take longer to load since the panel will be adding the firewalls to the microtech. After you have edited the plans, you are ready to go and even test your new settings. That is it for this tutorial. Maybe to add on to it is with the expiry pool, added PPOE secrets won't be removed from the microtech, but they will be on the expired pool and not receiving internet. This also means your microtech logs will be cleaner without PPOE authentication failed logs. Thank you for watching.